Right, this is from the No Frills videos I'm making. Straight to the point, how do you get marks in exams? This one, this video, is to do with vectors and scalars. Three things we're focusing on. First thing is to know what vector quantities and scalar quantities are, to know some examples of scalar quantities and their corresponding vector quantities if they have one, and to know how speed, velocity and acceleration are connected. So, what are vectors and scalars? So a scalar quantity has size only, as it says down the bottom here. Speed has size only, so it's just a number, so that is a scalar. Whereas a vector quantity has size and direction. So if we take speed and turbocharge it, we can turn it into velocity because it's basically speed with a direction. So it has a size just like speed and it has a direction. For example, you wouldn't just say 8 metres per second, you'd say 8 metres per second south. You get one mark in an exam for knowing what a scalar quantity is and one mark in an exam for knowing what a vector quantity is. So here's a question. Does speed or velocity change as this car goes around the corner? So before the corner, it was 30 metres a second. After the corner, it's 30 metres a second. Uh, so basically it's the same speed, so the speed did not change as it goes around the corner, right? It's the same size there. However, velocity depends on the size and the direction. And since the direction changes, therefore the velocity changes. And you'll get two marks for seeing that in an exam. Right, how do you represent vectors? Easy, with arrows. Haha! <laughs> Right, vectors can be represented by arrows. The length of the arrow shows us the size and the direction of the arrow shows us the direction, obviously. And you'll get two marks for seeing that in an exam. Let's have a look and see what that means. Uh, this is a nice big long arrow, 10 newtons to the right, whereas this one's only five newtons to the right. That's why it's only half the size. This one's five newtons to the left, so it's the same size as that one because it's the same size, but it's going in a different direction. This arrow is 20 meters east, so instead of seeing to the right or left, sometimes they will see it to the east. What are some examples of scalar quantities and their corresponding vector quantities? Right, I've saw this in an exam a number of times. It's just worth one mark, but it's worth having. So you've got scalars down in this left-hand column, you've got vectors down in the right-hand column. So speed, it does have a corresponding vector, which is velocity. Distance as a scalar has a corresponding vector, which is displacement. So whereas distance is only size, displacement has size and direction. And you can also see mass is a scalar and its corresponding vector is weight, which of course has a direction, which is always downwards. And there's a few more examples in the table there. How are speed, velocity and acceleration connected? Well, the speed of an object tells you how far it moves in a certain amount of time. You'll get one mark for seeing that in an exam, believe it or not. The velocity of an object is the speed in a certain direction. One mark for that. And the acceleration of an object tells us how much the velocity changes per second. Easy marks. So... Put it all together, we've just covered about 10 marks worth of content. Now, I can't guarantee that vectors and scalars will be on your final GCSE exam at the end of year 11, but if it is, because of your resourcefulness and your initiative, what I call your R&I, which means your ability to uh, find things out for yourself, basically you are increasing your success by looking for this video and other videos like it. So well done. And there's nothing else to say except for work hard, be nice, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.